Okay, I'm sitting here in the middle of the neighborhood and I'm looking at something pretty cool. So let me show you what I'm looking at. Okay, I am in Cape Coral, Florida. And I've come down here to photograph the burrowing owls. Now, they're kind of famous down here. Most people go to the uh, public library. They're all over there. I don't like going there because so many people go there. And to be quite honest, they are not respectful of the owls. They'll get too close. Uh, they just creep up on them and... I just don't think it's ethical uh, what they're doing. I think you need to give wildlife the space that they deserve and to be respectful of their homes and not stress them out. And so I've found an area just outside of the actual town of Cape Coral where there are many burrowing owls and the city has marked them uh, to keep them safe and to keep people away from them. So I'm here and we're going to go see what we can see. The owlets, the little guys, uh, probably have all grown up. They were uh, hatched, I guess, uh, several months ago and they do grow up fast. So let's, uh, let's go see what I can find and see if there's anything worth photographing here. I'm sure there is. They're super, super cute. So let's go see what we got. Let's go. Okay, I found some owls and they're just, they're cute as can be. You can see I'm right next to my car. My car is right off the side of the road. I'm trying to stay my distance. I already scared one off. I think I got a little too close and did exactly what I was preaching about before. Um, but right now I am looking at one, two, three, four, five, five different owls. And they're called burrowing owls because they literally find abandoned gopher holes, squirrels, rabbits, um, whatever, and they overtake that burrow and they live in the ground. So I'll show you here in a second on the video, but you can see that the uh, city has put posts up for them to kind of roost on during the day 
to look around, keep a keep an eye on predatory or predatory birds, uh, raccoons, foxes of the like. Get them up out of the grass, and they can look around and and keep their burrows safe. So uh, enjoy some of this video and. Yeah, enjoy these these beautiful birds with me. Still in the same location. I really haven't moved. I, I know there are other owls around, uh, but I've got five cooperative owls sitting right here. And I guess the whole point of this is, uh, you know, in some of my video you could see cars driving by. Um, you can see my car. There are houses around. There is quite a bit of wildlife right in your urban areas and this is about an hour away from my house I didn't have a ton of time but I did have a little bit of time and I thought you know I'm gonna take this evening I'm gonna get the, the golden hour the sun's going down uh, sun's right there <laughs> and get some of this good light it's kind of overcast so I've got cool light I'm gonna change positions here but close to my house urban I didn't have to get all dressed up in camo and go hiking through the woods but I did get an opportunity to get outside to photograph some some owls which everybody likes and to just just be out in nature and it's great for my mental health and it's good for your mental health too to disconnect from everything to go spend some time in the in the woods in nature or just with animals and uh, yeah just be present be in the moment and that's what I love most about this so uh, they're still there I'm gonna show you a car is gonna drive right by right where the owls are and they're pretty comfortable and that's another nice thing about uh, coming here is you can get fairly close. You, like I said, you still gotta maintain a, a somewhat of a distance so you don't stress them out. But they're used to cars driving by and they're used to people stopping and taking photographs and video of them so they're pretty cooperative and yeah, I just encourage you to get out and go explore. You know, use Google as your friend, forums, bird forums, uh, start talking to other photographers and, and figure out what's in your area that uh, you can go photograph. I don't care if it's a duck on a pond, Canadian geese, they're everywhere. Go go figure what the, where they are and, and take photos of them. I mean, we've got squirrels that live everywhere. Uh, they're fun to photograph, but challenge yourself to find something that is close that is maybe in an urban area and see what kind of beautiful photographs you can make all right i've rambled on i'm going to change positions and get a little bit better light on these guys and see if we can make a beautiful photograph
All right, well, that's it. That's all she wrote. So thanks for joining me. Come back. I got a phone call, but I'm not going to answer it. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I posted, and I if you've made it this far, I appreciate it. appreciate you sharing, liking, subscribing, all that, that good stuff. Um, I'll try to be a little more consistent in posting, but yeah, life's kind of gotten in the way. And I just need to make time for it, and I need to get back to doing what I love. But I hope you enjoyed these owls, and think they're as cute as I do. I think they're adorable. They're tiny birds. They're five to six inches tall. I think a big one might be seven inches tall, so they're pretty small. But thanks for joining me, and if you hit like, subscribe, and follow, you'll get notified of the next video I put up, and I would really, really appreciate it. So have a good day, and we'll see you next time.